Join the Wanderers, Citadel Act 2 by Shrappy Broke. Join Wanderers and uncover, join the Wanderers and uncover the Citadel's darkest secrets, a story and exploration driven platformer inspired by games like Journey, also direct sequel to Citadel Act 1. Playtime 45 to 60 minutes. I do appreciate that there. The level select is available. <clears throat> and playing these, I liked what I played the, the other ones too, because they're a bit puzzly, but not like so puzzly that like I get hung up for like ever and can't understand what I'm doing and then just go around in circles for like 20 minutes. Which ain't too bad off stream, but it doesn't make for a great stream, you know, so. This one probably keep, because even the little teaser I did for three, the trailer that he's got out for three, had that aspect to it too, you know. Stumble around a little bit, but then I'd figure it out. You know, didn't take too long. Got a nice another little title screen. There was the Citadel. Got into that place in part one. That'd be awesome if Fluxy Moxie, Fluxy Mox in particular, used that puppet for something, because they're just they're just an awesome creator. Like they can do like level design and game design, you know, and actually do a game with it. I could too, but it's a lot of work, you know. And I'm not inspired to do a, a game with it really. I just was inspired to do the puppet. This one picks up right where Act One left off, so you should be able to get into it easy. Yeah, for sure. Uh. Okay, this is where I came in. I just want to think about what it might want me to do first. The first thing I saw was the stairs. Second thing I see is that. I'm gonna go with the stairs first. Nope. <clears throat> nah, okay. Well, eliminated the stairs for now. But maybe there's another way to come around from the other side there. All right. Crystals tend to guide you. Those have been handy. Yeah, I remember I remember MM like showing these off a lot when they came out, but I only saw like little bits and pieces of it, not like the entire games or anything. Which is good. If I see a, a bit too much of stuff, then then I have to wait a while at least before I've forgotten like all of it. The area behind those closed gates at the beginning, there is where the teaser for Act Three takes place, huh? Because I know I'm pretty sure I remember coming through those doors at the end of Act One. people. See, this dude looks more friendly. Not like that sinister dude that has monuments to him around. These look more like sage-like people. Oh, that sucks, man. Well, I remember seeing it on All-Star streams. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. I mean, he was MM at the time. I mean, he's still MM as far as I know. Uh, so there's that. Hey, what up? Stumbloro. I checked your thing out before already, man. Don't you remember? You have a game now. An actual game? Is it an actual game? Well, I'm gonna focus on this for a while anyway, instead. So. Alright. In a bit. In a bit, maybe. If you're still around. If you're still around. Maybe I will. Because I did, I did check the thing out that you told me to check out the other day. The Astrobot something or other where you just throw all that stuff into a scene. Okay, okay, all right, calm down. <laughs> hey, I got my little buddy through when he made that cool sound. Hmm. Okay, that opened that. 
<laughs> like you're getting the Joe emote. You're getting the Joe emote. The thing he sent me, Joe, like the thing he sent me wasn't bad. At least, or not the thing he sent me, but the thing he wanted me to check out. It wasn't like a nasty, messed up shit, so I couldn't get too mad at him, you know. But this is the third time he's been in there, you know. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty amicable, you know. I don't mind checking out people's stuff, even if it's like some janky, weird stuff. It wasn't like Rugrats or nothing, you know what I mean? Hey, he, he jumped at me. He's like, hey, you're jumping? I'm jumping. Come on. See? That progress wasn't so hard. <clears throat> that's what I, that's really what I need. When I was younger, like, I could do the hell out of some places. Man. There's that dude again. I don't like that dude. Oh, look, there's three dudes down here. Guy with a shepherd stick. Guy with a forge hammer. Kind of oxen-like. Almost looks like Ganon. Uh, and then the, the wise one, I guess, maybe. No, the wise one has the... Oh, no, that is the bad guy. The bad-looking guy. He's down here in the middle, too. But then there's that dude and that dude. Yeah, yeah. That, I don't think they speak English either, Joe. Because they were in here the other night, and Frank and everybody... Everyone started talking Spanish for a little while, you know? And I was like, whatever, you know, go for it. But yeah, at least say hi, you know. And if they keep making stuff, you know, maybe they'll, maybe the, the encouragement will be like, I'll, I'll actually make something, you know. I'll actually make something. Learn how this stuff works and... Because you know, I, well, I don't know how it was, because when I, I was already kind of like a grown man, I was already a grown man when I was, started LVP, you know, so I wasn't... Just going in and like throwing like dark matter stairs all off kilter and everywhere and then just putting whatever wherever and just being cool. I made something, you know, like a real little kid would do, you know. ID freakers. No, no freakers. Hang on, let me let me do something here real quick. Slash freakers. I'm just I'm just joking, I'm just joking. <laughs> Man, I don't know if you guys caught it the other day. I forgot. I didn't even mention it last night because I was so tired and I forgot. But the other day, Friday, yesterday morning, Friday morning, here in the U.S. time. So it was probably like evening or late night for M.M. I, don't, I can't remember the time difference. Seven hours, maybe. Uh, but they were doing that chill music loop thing where the trend was just auto-driving around a track for a while. But at some point in the dream, in the stream... Uh, one of them mentioned, I forget who, M.M. Holly or somebody was like, and John Beach was there, the architect was there. Uh, but at some point, one of them mentioned, we're thinking of doing one of these for a papercraft game coming in November. And I was like, instantly, I was like, papercraft game? November? Everybody, somebody else was like, November too. So like, I don't know what they're talking about. If they already mentioned it, you know, and I didn't know about it. But do they have a new Tearaway coming out? Or are they having Tearaway content in Dreams? I know they had the Tearaway level and trend. A little bit of nostalgia there. Could there be... There's no way they could be getting like a separate uh, retail release game out in November. Unless they've had other people working on that all this time, you know? And it's not, it's not me like doing some kind of NDA, like, leak stuff, telling people I shouldn't, stuff I shouldn't be telling them. Like, they said it in the stream, you know? So they want people to know. And it was just me and App Fuerte that noticed, I think, you know? Because everybody else was just chilling and not really, they were just listening to the music and doing their own thing. And it was one of those days where after the MM stream, you know, they, they had all, like, the, the usual people on. You know how when MM's got something going on, sometimes there's, like, bigger streamers that come and, like, stream dreams for a while, which is cool, which is cool, but that's clearly, like, a few handshakes. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know where it was. It was later in the stream. It was probably, like, the last, <clears throat> had to be the last hour of the stream. I was just in there babbling, talking to people. It was, like, the most comfortable, comfortable I'd been at, a <clears throat> at, a at an MM stream in a while. 
I think J plus B being there too, you know, him just saying hey to me and me going, hey man, or hell yeah or something, you know. Yeah, yeah, but that's pretty cool. So I don't know if it's in Dreams or if they've got, they've had some people working on Tearaway for a while, a new Tearaway. A new Tearaway would be amazing. And if it's a PS5 game, if it's a, like just a full PS5 game, because that's what made Tearaway PS4 was I, right. and I never finished Tearaway PS4, so I can't fully authoritatively talk on it. But in my opinion, the Vita version of Tearaway is the real Tearaway. And trying to change the gimmick to something else on PS4 where you have like a light bar thing, and they added some new content to it, but it almost felt a little like sad tonally in some ways. Like it had more like a you know, a bleaker tone to it, emotionally. Whereas Tearaway was a lot more joyful, and the gimmick was fully like, put your hands inside the world, put your face inside the world with the camera, and they played to that, like, so hard. They played to it so hard. By the end of it, because you know how it's like when you turn on your front face and camera on your phone on accident, you're like, God, I look like fucking shit. My head's, like, pointed down, like, my, my face is all, like, mashed up underneath. <clears throat> it didn't... It, it has the opposite effect of that, even though your face is in the sun in the game using the, the Vita camera. And by the end of it, you're like, it does that thing where it's, you know how when you play a game, there's like that meme where they say like, when a, cred when a game says, and you, in the credits, you know, to thank you, the player, and it has like a sad little cat. You know, it's like that feeling to the max, you know, because you were there for the journey the whole time, and it just like makes you like feel, feel okay and feel good feel all right about yourself like that that's something mm's really good at you know and maybe some of those people like the director he ain't there anymore but it doesn't mean they can't do it you know it doesn't mean they don't have the, the chops to do it and but what i was trying to say with all that was that being ps5 <laughs> exactly see, if it is a ps5 game the ps5 dual sense and all that shit or maybe it's VR2. Maybe it's VR2. Ah, oh, god damn it, they're gonna make me buy a VR2. Fuck, and there's no dream support for VR2. Which means I don't want it, you know? Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Pirated Rhythm Heaven. And they thanked me in the beginning. That's terrible. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> That's funny. Shouldn't have gone home, girl, me. But if it's just, even if it's just PS5, like, the DualSense controller has, like, crazy gimmicks on it that they could put to use. And hopefully it's that. Maybe it's VR2, though. I could see Sony being like, okay, Media Molecule, you have to make a VR game. You know? Because sometimes that's what Sony always has them doing. And they want to do it, usually. You know? Because they like new technology and different stuff. Man, see, now I'm torn. I just want a regular straight-up game. And I want more Dreams content from them. Man. I wish they hadn't stopped. Especially after Tran. I'm like, please make more. Please make more Dreams. Keep us going. Yeah. Yeah. Or just to... Yeah, the backwards compatibility would be nice, Frank. That would have been an e easy thing. But even just, like, converting everything over. And we definitely need the... I wanted so bad. I wanted a... Because I missed the boat on VR1. And by the time I ever started thinking about, like, how cool it would be to try VR and Dreams, VR2 was already announced. And I was like, oh, I'll just wait for that. Surely don't do it. But they never did. And I, had, I, I, I have it all written down too, like a design doc and drawn out and stuff. I had a really good idea for something I wanted to do with VR2 and Dreams. You know, which is way better for me to do than try and figure out how to create VR for a PC and buy a PC and then buy a headset and all that stuff. And my damn kid, I, I cannot do all that. It's way beyond my scope. And needs. But if I could at least create the idea, and it's a cool ass idea, it's a way cool idea. I guarantee people would be like, holy shit, as long as I can pull it off right. Nope. Oh, there. That's where I gotta go. Dreams was like the killer app for PlayStation VR. Yeah, yeah, see. If I would have been in the market for one, that, that was one of the only reasons I wanted it, for sure. Stepping right into my levels back then just blew my mind. Yeah, I bet. I've only gotten to try VR once at a friend's house, the regular PSVR. And it was a terrible, it was still really cool, but it was a terrible like way to try it because we were, 
in his room, his aunt's room that he was staying at, and uh, there was a big ass bed like straight in the middle of the room in front of the TV, and it was like 100 degrees and no AC, and it was just like fogging up right away, and I could barely move, and it just was not the right setup, not the ideal way to try it. Yeah, yeah, I feel you, freakers. But it's something I could justify, you know. If Dreams was like full on, still, uh, did I fall down here or did I just jump back in here? Damn it. Idiot. Yeah, that's what I need to do. Yeah, exactly, Shreppa. Shreppy, I just, uh, walked right past it like an idiot again because I forgot what I was doing. But yeah, if Dreams was staying full on, like, MM, ongoing MM support, Dreams ain't going nowhere, but you know what I mean, like, full on MM support, VR2, like, I'd, I'd charge that VR2 headset, I could just throw it on the Best Buy card, pay it off. And try and do it, try and do it. There's a creator that creates in VR all the time, Chrome Colossus. I always go to the streams and there's usually just me there talking to him for a little while. For a little while, you know. Uh, but Chrome Colossus creates in VR. He's got a cool voice and, you know, he like he loves Dreams, man. Like, he absolutely loves Dreams. And he's working on a VR game for it. And he, uh, you know, he's he knows enough as a, as a creator. Like, he's, like, he's not, like, super genius creator guy, but he's one of those creators that, like, can, hey, how do you do this? How do I do this? You know, oh, okay. You know, oh, okay and has learned techniques over the years, you know, knows how dreams works. It's, what I'm saying is it's not like you're talking to a total idiot that has no idea what he's doing, you know, like some, some dream streamers. Let me see what Joe said real quick, because he loves VR. The PSVR is super light. When I wore it, it almost felt like I wasn't even wearing one. Nice. Just see that camera pop out there for a second. Felt like it wasn't tight enough. Yeah. It'd probably be tight on me. I'm sure it's adjustable. But I got a big ass head, man. Even my, uh... Not my youngest cousin, but one of my younger cousins. He's probably like five years younger than me. And he's taller than me. He's like, uh... Six... Six four or six five. Uh... But my head is bigger than his head somehow. Remember I put on his sunglasses one time and like stretched him out. I used to be able to pick that dude up. Like, just straight up deadlift him. Come on. Oh, this is where I came from. Okay, what an idiot. Yeah. I was laughing, Joe. You know, when you were saying about the, the old PlayStation headphones breaking the gold. You know. And then I told you I had to wrap elect electrical tape all around my... They broke the goddamn week I got them. Snapped right in half. Snapped right in half. And I should have just returned them. I should have just returned them. But I was like, I need headphones. I need headphones. And I wasn't thinking straight. You know, because I was trying to keep the noise down. At the, in the night and shit, you know. And... I wrapped so much electrical tape around it. Like, so much Gorilla <clears throat> Black electrical tape. That it, I swear to God, it weighed like five, five, straight up five pounds on my head all the time. And didn't fit right. You know? Hmm. Ah, yeah. oh, here we go, here we go. I, I remember a room like this earlier. Similar design. There we go. There we go. Making some progress. That's cool how this goes down with the water. You know, this like vertical, vertical tower here. Keep lowering the levels, that's very cool. You don't see a lot of verticality in level designs in Dream sometimes. You know, and I love a good vertical level design. For facts, Joe, 100% facts. They just didn't get two fucks. They didn't get two fucks. 
And I'd say it's the same with the, the analog sticks, but that's like that with like every controller. I, sp I spilled goddamn soda on my Xbox controller earlier. It's just sitting around on the floor. Again, again, that was the thing that I had to replace my Xbox controller like last year or something from the same damn thing. Spilling soda on it and like it got down in the joystick. <clears throat> nah, I do have a big head, Joe. 26, finished your, finished your track. That was max. Jesus Christ, we're just, yeah. There's not, nothing you can do about that. There's nothing you can do about it. You cannot, cannot account. Even when something is just like a minute long, they're like, no. But then again, maybe it's like ones that, maybe they're players that are the opposite of us, where they want to do the puzzle levels. And then they go in and they see like a, a speed, speed thing and they, they just nope out. They're like, I don't have time for this, you know? On your, yeah, I'm on my third one too. I've got two in the closet that have the stick drift. This one's been good. This one's been good as much as I'm playing Dreams and as much as I'm creating again lately. Like it's not, it's not drifting again yet, thankfully. Okay, where's the next way down? That ain't right. Okay, there's the stairs I came in. Okay, it ain't up the stairs. It's got to be in this... This is the pipe I came out of, right? No, this is the pipe I came out of. Oh, there's some stairs here. Did I go up these stairs? Did I come down these stairs? It's just because I'm, I'm chatting with you guys, Shreppy, like... I start, uh... Start losing track. Want to do a tri tiny trend? Remember Time Quest? Time. Where it was zoomed way out in 2D. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I can't remember it. Freakers, can't remember it. Ooh, nice. There's so much stuff I wanted to do, <laughs> do on dreams for sure, create wise. Do some side scrollers. I was gonna do all kinds of stuff with uh, just icons before. And I uh, just never got around to it. That would have been easy. I probably could have just used the uh, the 2D puppet and overlaid stuff onto it. Yo, Vork and someone. Yo, Vork and Pixel. Yeah, not sure I remember that one. I might have... Early Dreams, I'm, it might have just been something like I played for like a minute. Played once, and then just forgot about it. Hell yeah. There's the, the hammer dude. Now, I wonder if the... If we'll also see like the sage dude. Oh shit, it's the boss that was creepy. Uh, in the teaser cutscene at the end of chapter one. Act one. Chapter, act, whatever. You know what I mean. Uh oh, broke the elevator. No return. And I haven't seen my buddy in a while either. And I don't see them at the start of Chapter 3. The teaser. Okay, you're looking mad ritualistic here, man. You need to calm down. Spooky. Oh, uh, he was getting mad ritualistic in here. I'm breaking this. I broke your shit. Where you can see someone score. Each time they did a run. One guy started at like 1.30 and got down to 19 seconds. Huh. I don't know about that bug, freakers. Y'all have to show it to me sometime or explain it more. 
Yeah, is it a bug or a feature? And if it's a feature. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a bug. <clears throat> I hate bugs where players like get better at your game. And MM needs to fix that. Like if Joe and they need to fix it before Joe beats my time on Freaker's level. Just make it so that he can't beat my time. Get a better get a better thing. Fix the bug, yeah, man. Started petition.org. There's some rocks. I feel like I could jank my way up here, but I probably shouldn't. But I shouldn't be able to see all their previous times. But I can on the in dream scoreboard, but not in in dreams. Weird. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't looked. I haven't looked that thoroughly because I haven't. I haven't really. I've only published one thing with a scoreboard and never really looked into it. Yeah, it can get pretty. Pretty cluttered sometimes. My only thing with the uh, the end dream side is probably I wish uh, things would display in the order that they are, like collections, and like when you go into some profile to see their creations, like display in whatever the order is on on dreams. <clears throat> okay, I can't get that way yet. But what way can I get? Oh, yeah, yeah. Things have been a little bit dodgy. I think what goes on with, like, the... You know, when you go in and it says you've been disconnected all the time. I think it's more... Ah, oh, damn it. No, that's where I gotta get to. But, like, what is the way there? can interact with it. Okay. I thought about it, Sharpie. I thought about it. That's not biggie. Oh, I can interact with it. I just assumed I couldn't because the all the other... That's. I'll tell you exactly why, though. It's just because all the other ones I had to do something first before I got a button I could press on it. So I was waiting for that to happen. That's the only reason why... Like signal indication, you know. Otherwise, I probably would have tried it right away. Okay, sunken one, sunken one. But it, I guess it'll do it when I get to that crystal thing there. Okay, what are you doing to me? Am I supposed to get on your tentacles here? No. Come on, don't. This is cool. I can't fight that dude, I don't have any kind of melee. I don't think I have to. I just gotta escape. There we go. Yeah, I see. I guess you just assume after a while the player will interact with it. Oh, when you're out in the open. Nice. So, I gotta wait. How can I get out of here? Damn it. Ah, uh, okay. I need him to see me now. Come on. Smack me, bro. Smack me. Come look at me. Do you see me? No, maybe I can jump up over here. Whoa! Yeah, this is kind of like that. Some people hate those bosses in the Souls games. The there's like the the Dragon King in Demon Souls, and then the the Bed of Hatred in uh, Dark Souls One. Some people hate those bosses, but I kind of like the the variety of it. You know? They only dislike it because it doesn't jive with the rest of the game, you know. But this is like this this make this it's a good fit here. Because we are doing like platforms and stuff, you know. Let's 
see you weren't looking at me. Not going to. I feel like he could have seen my head there, but I'm not sure. So I just hesitated, just in case. Okay, go and look the way you want to look. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. Nah, I know me. That as well. That's what you gotta do, though. Oh, I was supposed to get out of here. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I, I didn't notice that until I was doing the skip. Doing the skip today. Earlier today. I, uh... Kept smashing into her and I noticed it more. Because you don't even really, like, turn the camera towards her, like, when you're... And you're not do not even looking at it long enough. Unless you crash there trying to do this again. Then you start to notice it. It was pretty pretty good choice. There you go. Get down. And yeah, that was a good choice, man. On doing something you can pull off and doing it in a cool way. You know. That's been a problem for me a long time and, and ever since I hit a certain point in late LVP and sometimes on dreams it still carries forward where it's just like I know what I want to do but it's like it's a lot of work you know and telling yourself like it's okay to just do do what you can do it in a, a smart way instead of working the hard way work smarter not harder but work harder too why not you know I mean work hard you know what I'm saying just don't let it be a, a hang-up for you. Like, because <clears throat> this this being one of your... Now it's an earlier creation. I wonder if I can get that thing again. I guess I probably can. Maybe I'm supposed to jump down on the... Uh, on the pipe. Well, let's try that, that door that's open there. Yeah, I miss a lot of... Yeah, I see the gate. Oh, here we go. Nice. The time to discover is not bad, though. Even if you miss some stuff, you'll eventually find it. But it would have been easy enough as a creator, like what I was saying, you know, at that time to be like, try to pick something that's like beyond what you're able to do, either capability-wise at the time or just time-wise and time investment and stuff. And being like, you know what, I don't have to do that. I can, I can come up with something that's that is good and doesn't just completely like demotivate and demoralize me, you know, and not letting it do that. To me and being like, I'm going to finish this project. I'm not going to let this this obstacle stand in my way of finishing what I want to finish and making the games I want to make. Right. It's very cool, too. The highs, man. You could maybe combine that with, like, spotlights, but it might be, like, too much, man. Start creating, like, that seizure warning type feeling to it, you know? It's being held together by duct tape. Yeah, man. Tons of stuff I've made is like that, man. Especially everything I learned over the years on LBP. That <clears throat> a lot of my creations were just barely, barely knowing like how some stuff works yet and making it, just making it work. But they were, it was a good time and it created cool things. There he is. There he is. Give me the crystal. But even I feel like a lot better, man. At dreams, like... I Even me coming from LBP with everything I knew when I first got dreams, like... I was like, I can't do this motion control shit, like, right away, you know? So, but eventually I learned to turn the, the sensitivity down. I still use the motion control. I don't... I've never tried the, the button thing, because they, they didn't have the button option yet, I don't think. But once I did that, you know, it made it a lot more doable to me. I dropped it down to like three or four. And then 
then it was fine for me since then. And then what else I was going to say was like, there was a lot of ways certain things worked in dreams or that you could do things differently, like especially logic wise, like being able to incorporate keyframes into your logic and, and a lot more to do with timelines where it wasn't so hard to manipulate a timeline the way it was to manipulate a sequencer on LBP and trying to learn to incorporate those things in it. And then the way keyframes work for animation and what's good like mixing wise with music like everything everything there's i'm i'm a even I, i'm a lot better than i was when i started drinks as well no no yeah frank exactly turn away turn away and i just think it's cool that like over the years we've all excelled a little bit more now i actually record a keyframe mode yeah yeah i gotta learn that all over again I've only barely touched it, and there's a couple things i got to figure out how to eliminate to make the most of, of the action quarters. I guess it, I think it's just like, you know, the single frame move on timelines, and being able to use things like the grid on there and line things up that way. It just feels like I have more control over it, and more precision when I do it the, the old-fashioned way, which is just putting the keyframes on the timeline. But there's a couple things with the uh, the action recorder where, like, I try to full just record the physics of something happening. And even though, even though it's the same loop, it hitches at the end instead of seamlessly looping around like a keyframe time loop. You know, little things like that. And maybe there's some trick to the... Hey, we got him. We got him. Got him down. He's, like, way down now. Ah. Uh, look at all that down there. Bones. I see bones down there. So either there's something really big down there, or those things were just down there and died of starvation or something. But something bigger down there. Could be something bigger down there. Or it's just a, uh, you know, a water basin. And there was like fish, old fish, bones, ancient sea creatures. Maybe things he ate. Oh, he's still alive. That's great. That was a fantastic cutscene. I really like that. Okay, now another round of getting down. I think I can just get to these ones over here. I can just get to this one. There is a door behind me. No. Ah, thank you. Yeah, but see, like, you know, you say, like, you barely knew what you were doing, but, like, that door, you know, that was, like, a fancier door than a lot of people would do. And that's, like, what I was saying way when I started the first one, I think. I was like, oh, this door could do this, or this door could do that. But then it has to fit, like, the type of technology that's around. And now here, now that we're getting deeper in the Citadel, like, the technology's getting a little more advanced. The construction is getting a little more advanced in terms of, like, the type of architecture and things. So it fits to have, like, a more advanced kind of door down here than that first door. So it opens up in a really cool way. Whoa. Wow, that's cool. was like a forge dude but it's no now it's showing the uh 
the central band. They were the Atlas Old Men of the World. Which God of War was it? I think it was God of War 2. When I saw this region of like the Atlas Old Men things out. But it could have been 3. It could have been 3. Then you, you know, I'm starting to get familiar with the soundtrack, you know, like I'm enjoying hearing it, like my old familiar friend. Just forgot what it was. What are you guys even talking about? The whole level is maybe the best thing I've made in Dreams yet, although I'm pretty proud of the next level online. I know it's the same name as Twitch, but I just prefer to be frank. Yeah. Yeah, I prefer to. I prefer to be frank, too. <laughs> For it to be fake. Uh, stairs. There we go. Come on. I hear the hammering. Yeah. Yeah, turn is turn test. some gears over there. Ooh, that's awesome. I used to love doing stuff like that in LVP. You know, making big, like, spinny gear interlocking, moving, like, machinery type things. It was fun. Yeah. I had a cool series on there called False, False Idols. I wish you could play it, Shrappy Bro, but they're all gone except for the third one. And the third one doesn't look right in LVP 3 anymore because they were old LVP 1 levels. I can't interact with this. But, you know, it was like cool, ethereal, fancy, like nebulous stuff, hardly made any sense. And cool imagery, and I did all the dialogue as like r rhyming poetry, you know, and tried to do like a hint system that way as well. And there was four of them. Somebody did a review of them back then. Some like person like did a level review of it. Let's just jump in the lava. Come on. I'm dying here. Okay. Now, what's about this way. There is something up this way. Yeah. Yeah, by today, especially by dream standards, like, there is so much constraint and limitations, you know, but it was fun to push against the limits and constraints, you know, and try and make it do things that it, that it wasn't really meant to do. It was fun. But, you know, you you know, a lot of people be like, oh, I wish I played there. And I, you know, it, it's it's great to have the the specific experience you had. You know, like, maybe you did, maybe you didn't play it. You know, like, what way you came into creating. Like, if that creating was through dreams, like, that's a, a very distinct vein of learning and creator time and stuff, you know, how to, it'll be distinct, it'll be generationally distinct. How can I get across? Can I interact with this thing? Okay, so I need to find, I remember that from Act 2 now, I have to find a hidden blue thing somewhere. There's some stairs up there. I think it's like a crystal fragment. And I only need to find one of them. Dang, these stairs are getting tricky. I'm going way up the mountain. But this is exactly my kind of style. You know, something that feels a little esoteric, ethereal, fantasy type thing, you know. There's a crystal. I don't know if it's the collectible. Yeah, it's the collectible. I got him. Eh, that's okay, man. You can get on. You're not getting stuck. But if you ever want to, like, do that, too. 
It is what it is, though. Like, I know, I know the reasoning behind it. Can I jump down there? Oh, I still have my... Yeah. Take a few shortcuts without camera zoning myself out. There we go. There we go. Nice. What I what I meant though was like these stairs are like getting crazy like in terms of the the architecture. That's what I was trying to say. That you know like when you see those cool pictures of like the temples on the mountaintops, like the really almost sheer cliff type mountaintops, and they start getting like super steep and windy and narrow and stuff. Like that was the the sensation I was getting from it in a good way. In a good way. Look, I see another blue blue thing up there. That when I get in there into the internal part, I can probably. Uh, it's an elevator. It's an elevator I can get to. Oh, yeah. 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 I don't know. I'm sure there's stuff out there, but it's a lot to, like, convert, convert things. In my opinion, I don't think, like, older... Any stuff you put out, I don't think, should be, like, re significantly retooled. Unless you're just, like, super inspired and you're like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna totally rebuild and remake this and stuff. Because it's, it's good to have, like, things mark a certain time and place in your style. And what the context of Dreams was at the time and stuff. Like, I think that's a good thing to preserve, you know. But no objection to people doing, like, remastered versions of their stuff either. I know some people do that. But that's the kind of thing where they're like, oh, I can do this way better now. And that's what they want to do. But... Oh, I can just jump off here now. Nice. But I know some creators are like, I think I'm going to remake, like, all this and that. And I'm like, are you sure, you know? Just, like, leave it. I mean, you could make it better, I guess, you know? But it's up to you. And it's like, if you leave it that way, it really marks, like, your crea creator legacy at the time, you know? And that's not don't fi fix bugs. Like, if you ever see bugs, like, fix bugs. You know, if you want to and can't. Uh... But sometimes you want the authenticity of it, like the real authenticity, to preserve that aspect of it without it in a long way. Man, it must be so hard in here. But luckily I'm like made of ether here, so I ain't feeling it. Here's the elevator. The music's getting cool. And you, you've done exactly what I helped you do, which you'd like preserve some of the, the early game work and carry those things over. You know, collect this thing, find the elevator. That helps keep the flow consistent. Okay, is that thing active now? Oh, I've got one of these. Check it out. Yeah, the gears turning, the fire burning, every time I see it rotate, I am learning to become an AI algorithm. I can make you jump on a beat even if you got algorithm, and I don't mean to say something controversial. I did this off the top without an ounce of rehearsal, and I will bring you in a hearse to the funeral home on a beat i don't mean to hurt you i just get too hardcore when i get in the zone and i flex these bars like i'm flexing my bones when i jump and head right up the stairs i don't know where to go anymore i'll go over there yeah that's enough that's enough i have to i have to think i can't think about that or i can't think about the puzzle Yeah, maybe. It depends. It, the music has to build up in just the right way. Like, this isn't normally the kind of stuff you would do that to, but it was hitting just right, and we went over to the gears, and I, I got in tune with it for a minute. It's fun. It's fun. I like a good soundscape like that. See, now the music's gone. The music's gone. Like, we're getting overpowered by the waterfall. This is, like, sound. Maybe it's there's sound design, but there's also sound pacing. It's a sound pacing. 
where you jump in Act One. Oh yeah, yeah. I see it now. Yeah, I remember the no noticing that in Act One when I came out those doors right there to go across that way, and I was like, the scale in these environments is awesome. And then you're going from section to section, and I was like, I bet that's like the actual place up there. It's not, not just a facsimile of where you were. It actually was where you were, and that the exits and things like just connect to different entrances that ex exits. I think it's pretty cool. Hmm. But now. Uh-oh. I guess just fall. See what happens. No. I guess don't fall. I'm where I'm supposed to be, right? Wait, is there something deeper down there? I'm gonna take another look here real quick. Okay, something's gonna have to come down here or up here. There's a bunch of lava falling out there. I'll head back down the stairs real quick and see. Because there's been plenty of times where I've like doubled back and seen like another way to go. Alright. Alright, well I am heading back. Hey, wait a minute. I don't think I've been down this way. I'm supposed to be down this way. Oh crap, I'm gonna burn to death. Come on, come on. I probably could have just jumped off and checkpointed, but I'm not sure which checkpoint I'm gonna send me to. Okay, I'm gonna wait for my elevator here. This thing's a temple. There's a thing over that way. And I believe I came around that way. Man, this is such great level time. Okay. It's showing me something. It's showing me something. Oh. Give me that. Oh, cool. It activates that. Nice. Ah. It flickered. I was thinking about that, that broken flickering one down there by the uh, gears. Oh crap! Actual platforming. Here we go. Also multiple levels too. Jesus. All right. I'll do my best. This is a sudden spike in platforming for sure, because we haven't really done any kind of platforming. Let's see if I can do this. It's like, here you go. But you know, we make like short experiences. Well, you guys do. I don't make so much nowadays. But I make what I make. I make what I make. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. No. Damn it. Okay. I'm gonna wait this time. I was supposed to get ahead of it there, though. Ah, yeah. 
Yeah, I did. That's smart to have. I'm sure I'll probably get through it. Ooh, almost got the hot foot there. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Oh no, that was that was such a terrifying sensation. Aw, oh, damn it. I was waiting, I was waiting to land on that too long. Ago. Oh, I could do it afterwards. Nope, nope. Oh, I could have got over there. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna try it after. I'm gonna try it after the fire happens. Because that I can probably predict a little bit better than trying to land on it while it's coming up. I was on a long time. Oh, just before they cool again. Okay, yeah. I was trying, man. That's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to do. Come on, come on. At least you got good checkpoints here, too. You know, you're not making me do the entire section again. Like back here every time I mess up this one. Took too long. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Gotta let it fully cool. Fully cool. I'm doing it too soon, damn it. I keep thinking it's gonna cool. You could do, you know what you could do there? Or in something like it in the future. Keyframe the the intensity of that fire effect so that it's you know, I'll see it fading down, and then I know it's time to time to jump again. You know, it, just from zero to one hundred, you just throw that on a timeline. Start with a default value, a default keyframe that like brightens up to, you know, uses the blend to go up to the next keyframe on the timeline, and then another. However long you want that thing to be max brightness, make that middle keyframe not the, that long on the timeline, and then fade it down to the default keyframe, the same distance as the other thing, and then they'll uh, cool, and you could even make the, the burst one heat up faster, and then the, the cool down one cool slower. Nope. Ah, damn it. I'm taking too long. Oh, I can jump on the pipes, too. No, I'm not going to skip it yet. Wow, I took some kind of crazy, like, flow jump here. Come on, come on. Man, I, that would have been so easy. You did say there was ways to cheese it. Yeah, because waiting for these things is like... No point. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh, it's getting greedy. Ah, oh, that's crazy. Look. What an idiot. What an idiot. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, yeah, there's an even bigger one. Okay. Okay, yeah, I found it. Whoa. Okay, it's like, no. Do this one at least. Come on. There we go. Nice. Praise the cheese. Thank you, cheese. Real cheese. Deep in the pits of the inferno. This really is like feeling like mid game and shit too, you know? Like mid game in a trilogy in terms of difficulty. Cool, where'd I go? Oh, it's just a cutscene. Here. that gauntlet. I remember the one of them wearing it. It's one of their relics. No, I can't interact with them in any kind of way. The owl, that's pretty cool. I should find that thing and see if I can rig it up. 
It looks like it's probably already rigged up. Or maybe it's just posed that way. Like there's somebody already made a cool rigged owl or something. If all goes to plan, it'll be a tetra... tetralogy? Nice. Five. No, tetra is... I don't remember what tetra is. Because that's quadrology is five. Eight, seven, I don't know, I can't remember. But yeah, I get what you mean. Four. Okay, four. <laughs> That's funny. Like Tatras. There we go. I didn't see this one. Here's the cool water water tower. It's just the water heater. You know? That's what we're in is like the water heater. This thing keeps the water hot. And this is where the water is stored. And then like that bad dude. Like this guy's okay. Maybe he's okay. But the bad dude was like Stop using all my damn hot water. And he had to take over when he got the infinity gauntlet over there. And look, we used to have trees. Maybe. Or maybe this is... I don't know. Maybe it's a location we're going to. Maybe it's the whole citadel. Maybe there's clouds up there. Yeah, this is the outside citadel map. Cool. Okay, where's that... I saw a pedestal over here. Yeah. Yeah, it is the Citadel. Pretty cool. See, you don't gotta be like an archaeologist to like figure it out. You ain't gotta like transcribe a language or anything. You just interpret it a little bit. You're like, oh, is this what that means? Is this, oh, that's, that's cool, you know? Like La, La Mulana is a game that's got it's a cool Metroidvania, but it's like hard as shit, and and it's obtuse. Like the you're an archaeologist going into like an ancient tomb and like some exotic land, and it it kicks your goddamn ass. And it's like super tough to figure out. It's like some almost like witness uh, witness levels of getting your ass kicked with puzzle stuff, but not that kind of interface. You know, it's just a 2D game. But it's, uh... Wait, can I open that thing? Yeah. Yeah. That's cool, man. That's cool. I'm glad you're into that kind of stuff. Oh, I can just open this one. I don't have to go. I think that was just another side of stairs to come down. clouds up top. Zeus. Not like they, that they are those guys, but like, you know, analogous to it. It is a reference to that. Awesome. That was the boss's name. Yeah. Man, you're awesome, Shreppy. You know some good games. A lot of times I'm saying that stuff and people are like, oh, I've never played it. You know, you've played a lot of this stuff. That's awesome. Like props to you. Like I'm trying to give you a fist bump.
There we go. My bad. I accidentally gave the microphone a fist bump instead of shrapnel, bro. <laughs> I had to reconnect it. There we go. I think it's back in a good spot. That's an amazing scene, shot right there, man. The way the line work is there and the movingness to it. The way the colors faded in, like the line work faded in at the at the end there. Faded in towards the center. That's awesome. And it's like, hey, you guys want to take these pills? That goes on. Maybe. Oh, shit. It's Iachi. No, it's not Iachi. Who's this guy? Oh yeah, that was the guy we saw earlier in Act One. It's not the the one that I was thinking. I think that's the one that has the shepherd staff. No, it's not the one that has the shepherd staff. The shepherd staff was the skinny one that was in the cutscene we just saw. The flashback. Oh, thank God it's a memory. I forgot that we were, like, seeing his memories, and I was like, crap, he's about to activate, and I'm going to have to fight him. Watch him look over at me. The crystals. Hmm. See, this guy, this guy feels regretful about whatever transpired. Like, why did we do that? It was fine. We should have just left it alone. There he Oh, hell no. Man, he's like a Sith Lord. Way cool one, though. Like Darth Maul tier type Sith Lord. in the, the sound folly there. Man, you must have listened to like this sound a while while you were doing this. You know, doing the cutscenes and things. Or you pick the Maybe, maybe you pick the sound fully a bit before you start, you know, like one thing informs the next, you know, either the animation starts to inform the sound or the sound starts to inform the animation. actually there. He's like, get out of here, kid. You're too stoned to handle this. I'll handle it. I've got the glove, though. I've got the glove. Here. What is the glove? That's all I Oh, this guy's way too far gone. Look at his sword, man. He's so evil. Whispers. I know that sound. I know the sound you're talking about. Yeah. Awesome. There's crazy stuff going on in there. That's why stuff's crumbling. They're doing crazy stuff. There. And it's like and like crazy quake sounds and shit and ripples through the ground seismic activity uh oh I don't know who survived but the lava's spilling up now I take it the 
you know, what seems to be like the more noble of the two. He's probably the one that died there. Sacrificed himself so that we could go. Okay, so I can... This was somebody else's relic. The thing that I've got on my hand now. Maybe that one belonged to the... That wiser one with the mask. The skinnier one. Shreppy, bro. Made in dreams. Additional logic. Stair walking behavior. Sunken one. Special lava consultant. Special lava consultant. That's pretty cool. Uses techniques inspired by the work of Martinity DK and Tap Giles. That's cool. Tap was awesome, man. I love logic dudes like that. Great tabs, darks, mystical fire, evil ass. There's the octopus, inspired by the works of Fumito Yueda, Team Cherry, us two games, tequila works, crystal dynamics, crystal dynamics. See? Shreppy wasn't just gassing me up saying, oh yeah, you rec you totally recognized it, man. You're like, it's not even that, you know, but it actually is some of that crystal dynamics. Isn't Amy Hennig working on a Captain America and Black Panther game or something. Agent Carter. Hopefully she gets to finish a game again this time. She kept getting screwed over, like, with that Star Wars stuff, and then she tried to move on from Naughty Dog, and then got screwed over with Star Wars 1313 and all that. And then I think she's making her own game now. It's a licensed IP, you know, but it's... I'd be excited to see some writing from her again. She was a great writer. 